Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill and in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your power supply on your desktop computer from a regular one to a modular. Okay, so I wanted to do this video a long time ago. I just didn't have the time. I, <laughs> I was afraid to do it. So now I'm going to do it. So this is my computer. Windows 11 can be Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8. Doesn't make a difference as long as it is a desktop computer. So the first thing I'm going to use is this tool, C CPU-Z. I have done, I have used this tool in the past. It's free. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So as you can see, this is a real computer. This is an AMD, it can be Intel as well. And this is my motherboard, ASUS. So I have done some videos in the past about how to upgrade the BIOS version and how to enable TPM on it. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave the link for those videos in the video description below. So as you can see, the RAM over here, the graphic, the graphic card, all that. So I'm just showing you that this is a real computer. So I'm going to uh, close everything uh, because that's the only thing I wanted to show you and we're going to shut down the computer and while we're doing that this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet so that really really helps my channel a lot so thank you thank you very much so now allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and now we're going to remove the cover so as you can see this is the computer we shut down a few seconds ago that's the fan for the processor the video card the ram over here and this is my power supply 500 watt evga so you might have 600 400 the process is going to be the same in my case i'm going to change it for uh, because i need more power and i'm going to disconnect the power from the case so allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and I'm here, I'm showing you the EVGA Supernova 650G3. So this is the model I'm going to change, I'm going to upgrade to. So I'm going to leave the link in the description below if you're interested. You can have any other, um, any other characteristics like more power, less power, the process is the same. So now I'm going to open it and this is the the manual that it comes with. So by the way, EVGA has worked for me for many years. I, I never had a complaint, it always works. So I like it a lot. So this is just a bag for any other cables that you want to use. As you can see here, so that's pretty nice. And these are all the cables that it comes with this model. So as you can see, there are quite, quite a few. Um, we are not going to use all of them, by the way. So this is for the CPU, this is for cable management, and we have a few more. So this is for the power. So this is the Perif Molex cable. This is for all devices, for fans. Um, I don't really, I'm not going to really use this one. This is the SATA cables for your optical drives, for your SSDs, for your hard drives. So we're going to for sure use these ones. And we have two in total, six in total, I'm sorry. And now we have the VGA G3. See, this is for your video card. So that's pretty, pretty cool. We have an, uh, an extra one of this as well. So this is the 24 pin ATX cable that goes directly to the motherboard. So that's pretty nice. We need this. And this is another VGA G3, right? So these are the cables that come with this model. And this is the 24 pin tester in case your power supply is not working. You can test it with this. And we have a screws over here, of course. And below this, we have this cable. I believe this is for fans. I'm not really sure. I never use it. Uh, and now we're going to open the actual power supply. So this is the cover. I like it a lot, good presentation. And this is how it looks. It looks awesome, man. So I like it a lot. So this is the this is the back part. And this is the part that I like a lot. So this is why it's modular. You can connect only what you need over here. So you can declutter your cabling on in your tower computer. Now let's bring the case. And allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera so we can start working on it. As you can see, we have more light now. And this is the power supply we're going to be removing over here. But before that, I'm going to show you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches. And I'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity that I might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds. That way I don't damage the circuitry. So after that, uh, I have to disconnect everything that goes, every cable that goes from the power supply to the motherboard, okay? Everything. So I'm going to start with the with the, with the the cable for the video card, and you can see the 24 pins I have disconnected as well. I don't know why I didn't show it to you. And now I'm going to disconnect this one over here, which is the CPU cable. So as you can see, I have uh, all the cables on this part disconnected. So now the way my case is built is all the cable management or most of it is in the back. So I have to push them down. And as you can see, I have more SATA cables that I'm not using. So I'm going to pu push them down um, to the back. Okay, so I'm going to turn my case over. I'm going to open it 
like that. And as you can see, this is all the <laughs> clutter I have regarding to cables. So I, now I have to pull them up. As you can see, I have some hard drives connected. I'm going to disconnect them as well. As I mentioned before, disconnect everything that is connected to the power supply, okay? And now what we have to do is just pull them up, pull them to, to me, if you will, so that way we can continue. So as you can see, I have all the cables over here. I'm going to get the 24 pin cable in a few more seconds over here. Now I have more SATA cables. I have these, the PCIe cable. So I'm pulling everything from the front, all right? So because this is just how my case is built. Now, what I have to do now is push them back to the front. <laughs> because that's how my case is built. So this is the boring part. That's why the videos sped up. And this is the best I can do over here. As you can see, it's uh, the hole is full. I cannot push it down anymore. So now I'm going to turn it over again. Let me a few seconds. And as you can see, this is all the cable that I have. So what I have to do for the last time is pull them up. As I'm doing right now, I'm using my two hands for uh, for uh, for this part. Again, the video is sped up because this part is kind of boring, and you can see all the cables and all that. So after we have done that, as you can see here, I realize that I disconnect this cable by mistake. So this is the cable or the cables that control the power button, the reset button, and the sound for your computer. Okay, so you know when your computer is not working, there is uh, some beeps. So this is what it controls. So technically, not technically, I'm sure I cannot turn on my computer. Now it's not going to work. So I'm just showing you how it looks. I'm sure you have it on your computer as well. So I have to connect it back. Uh, I made a mistake here disconnecting it. So this is a, an example of, you have to be very, very careful when you are disconnecting any connection from your motherboard, okay? So I'm going to connect it back and we're going to continue. As you can see, I have connected it back over there. Now I'm going to make sure that it's not loose and it's not. So as you can see, all the cables from the power supply are now loose and not connected. Next, using my Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to remove the power supply from the case. So this model has four screws, as you can see on the top. Now I'm going to proceed to take them out. So while we are doing that, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. So after we remove all the screws, as you can see, I have four over there. I'm going to proceed to remove it. Pretty simple, pretty quick, like that. So this is how it looks, 500, all the characteristics that you have seen a few minutes ago. Now, this is the upgrade, the EVGA 650G3. And this is how it looks. In my opinion, it looks awesome. Now, you don't have to install the power supply at the beginning okay that's very important because you are going to have problems later what you have to do first is make all the connections from the power supply to the motherboard and then at the end you have to install it okay so i messed it up here and we are going to do it the right way right now so this is the right way so as you can see i have removed the power supply the evga 650 so as you can see, it sets motherboard over there. So you connect it right there. So I, were having, I was having some issues here. So you connect it like that. And now it's already connected to the motherboard. So the other cable that comes with uh, the 24 pin is this one. You just connect it because they are together. So it's just like setting up Legos. It's si very simple to install. It's difficult to get lost. So now the next uh, the next one is going to be the CPU. As you can see over there, it has labels and it also, it says CPU on the cable itself. Now the CPU is normally next to the processor, somewhere around the processor, which is on the top left uh, in my case. Now this is, for me, is the most difficult cable because I cannot really see it. I don't have the angle for the camera. So now, I'm going to try to connect it right now, but I'm going to struggle. As you can see over here, I struggled for a few seconds. I didn't know how to connect it because I cannot see it, but there is only one way to connect it. So don't worry about that. You're not going to connect it wrong. Next, I'm going to connect the, the video card. As you can see over here, this is how it looks. And we have to connect it to the, to the power supply and then to the video card. 
So as you can see, I'm going to make some space. I'm going to move the camera. And now you can see over there VGA1. So this power supply can hold up to two video cards. So now, as you can see, this is the connector on my Gigabyte. Now again, I'm going to struggle for a few seconds, but at the end, I'm going to have it right like that. Next, we have the SATA cables. I'm going to show you that I have, in this case, two physical hard drives because my NVMe SSD is over here, so I don't really need a cable for that. But in this case, I have two, you might have more, or maybe you don't have any um, that need SATA, and all of all your hard drives are SSDs, okay, or NVMe SSDs. So as you can see in this cable, and as we have seen before, we have three. We have two cables, each one of three, so in total we have six. And let's go back to the power supply. I'm going to make some space, and as you can see it's a, there, it's a SATA one. So you are going to connect it there, like that, and now we are good to go. If you have more uh, optical drives or more uh, SSDs, you, you have more space, as you can see here. Uh, as I mentioned before, you have one extra space for a second video card over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to connect it, uh, the, uh, the hard drives because that's not really difficult. I'm going to go uh, on the back of the, pro of, of the case and just connect them. Now that everything is connected, as you can see, I have installed the power supply, which is really simple. Just add the screws and I'm showing you everything that is connected. I'm verifying that everything is in place, no cables are loose, everything is tight as it should be. Now, I show you the my two hard drives. I already connect them, so that's pretty simple, pretty fast. And now we are going to, I'm going to put my case straight, all right? So allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. Next, I'm going to connect everything, the power, the mouse, the keyboard, the monitor, everything to see if it works, hopefully it will. Now that everything is connected, I waited for a few seconds and it's not turning on. So I forgot to turn on the switch on the back of the power supply. So as you can see, it's working now. We can see the colors, so the, the motherboard is receiving power, all right? Now, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and we're going to turn it on. So I waited for a few seconds and this is the part where you are sweating because you don't know if it works, but hopefully it works. So uh, you can see the ASUS logo. I waited for a few seconds and you can see the login screen for Windows. So I logged in, as you can see, it's the same desktop. I'm going to go to CPU Z and I'm going to do a close up and you can see it's exactly the same computer, the exact same expects, right? So this is the computer, it's working with no problem. So that's how you replace your power supply, whether you want to upgrade it, whether you need more power or if it fails. Right, so maybe you want, you want to watch one of these videos. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.